we're making some distinctions there, like actually having a realization versus just thinking thoughts and ego thinking versus realization. So could you say a bit more about the distinction between those two? Because it, sometimes when we're following a train of thought, it might be hard for us to know which, which kind it is. So could you say something about how they feel different? Well, a realization can be realized only when there is thinking that translates that realization for you. So obviously the thinking is connected with the realization. But a realization, let's say a realization of source. The very existence of source within. Take that as a realization we would call a realization. There comes a day when you can actually say with all security and confidence and clarity, I experienced the material presence of soul. Now, of course, you may have the skeptical thinker who says, well, maybe you've convinced yourself of this. We leave him aside or her aside for the moment. But assuming that it is not a result of brainwashing yourself, there is a moment when a seeker can say with confidence, I feel the living presence within. I I experience the impulse from that living presence and I observe that when I bend down to surrender to and follow that impulse, there is a reduction in the general suffering around me and within me. So, this realization is an actual real thing which you can experience and you don't have to be a great thinker to have that experience. I've had students who have pursued with the sadhana for a while. They don't even have the, the, the necessary education to formulate clear sentences or the cultural conditioning for that. But when that experience happens, they stand up and say, now we have the experience. And then I cross-check, I cross, you know, I, I want to know. And that experience is actually independent of the ability to think thoughts that are, that are complex. So when you have that experience versus when you think about it, there'll be a night and day difference. It's like actually punar janam, you know, like being reborn again. So... There is a clear line. The system knows when it knows, when it has the experience. And the system knows when the experience is real. It cannot be denied. I'm saying especially in the processes of self-realization. Because when it comes to enlightenment, then that's a different game altogether. Because then... The awareness or the consciousness is forced to leave the system, to exit the system. If you are meditating for long hours, at one point the awareness is so uncomfortable in the body that it tries to leave. That's when it goes into cosmic experience, into various samadhi states. But these samadhi states do not lead to self-realization. They lead to cosmic experiences. So you still can't say that you know self. Even in the case of Ramana Maharshi, it took him many years to actually come back into the system and settle down into a self-realization process. It was enlightenment outside the system, not in charge of the body, not in touch with the body, and the slow descent of awareness and consciousness into the system, gradually taking 
charge again of what is around. So the experience of self-realization only comes when you tune into self. And when you tune into self, thinking is present because it's part of that process. It, it's an integrative process.